Hey guys, this is going to be a video on Bob the Builder. Version 1.0 is waiting approval in the pineapple bar. So this is a video of what we'll be shipping with version 1.0 of Bob the Builder. So let's go ahead and get started. Looking at the small tile, you have a link for infusion support. Eh, I mean, there's nothing I can really put on the small tile, so that's about it. We open up the large tile, and we have this page manager here, or I call it the library. And um, basically you can just see all of your files that are in here and I can edit them, I can rename them, I can do whatever I want to. Um, so that's awesome. If you guys want to see me doing that more, you can check out some of the previous development videos on it and I'll, I show specifically that feature. Um, then we have the page builder over here and we have built-in PHP functions that we can just go ahead and add to the file. Um, so if I want to be able to write something to to a file, I can just go ahead and add the PHP function that will automatically do that for me. Then if I wanted to add, say, some HTML elements like a heading, I could say headings are cool and add. It automatically puts a heading there for me. Oh, whoops. There we go. And then what's awesome, which took me qu a little bit of time to develop, is this form builder here which allows us to dynamically create forms so if I want to post to something um, let's say well let's go ahead and say post first of all and I want to post to um, HTTP 172.16.42.1 slash myfile.php that's where I want to post to and the title of my button so whenever someone does something I could say send data and then what happens when they click it I'm not going to do anything there so now let's say I want this to be a um, username and password so I can add a text field and I can call it username and the ID I'll make that username and the placeholder uh, enter your username and I'm not going to have a default value for it and I want to add a password field I can go ahead and add that. So I'm going to say password, password, and enter your password. Now let's say I added something that I don't actually want. I can just delete it, and there's no harm done with that. Same thing goes with the password fields. If I don't want it, I can delete it, and it's gone. And then after I'm done making my form, I click this Add Form button, and we can see that it adds it right to my page just like that. Um, so now to show you guys this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this inside of a body tag and I'm going to set the background color to white. Oh, whoops. Now version 1.0 is not going to have any CSS stuff on it. Um, I just couldn't be bothered to work on that. So yeah. Let's call it myfile.php and let's go ahead and save it. And it's been saved successfully, so I can come back over to the library. I can see myfile.php. I'll go ahead and view it. And I have my form and all that stuff, which is awesome. And I can go ahead and edit it and say I make a change somewhere. Say um, I don't like the heading. So I want to say login below exclamation point but you know I, I don't want to um, overwrite the file so I'm going to save it as a new file call it login whoops login page dot php and save and now we can see that we have login page dot php if we edit that it is the file that we just modified and then my file is still exactly the same as it was before so we can go ahead and view this and it says login below and then if we're done with it we can go ahead and say delete yes and then it should be gone and it is so same thing with my file don't want it anymore delete and it's gone so thank you for watching you can download this in the pineapple bar it's not available yet but it will be shortly so probably by the time you're watching this video you can download it so again thanks for watching and have a great day